welcome to ECS Coffee. Today we're here to do a comparison video between the Breville Barista Express and the Smeg Manual Espresso Machine. So they're both quite comparable in size and functionality. Uh, this Meg is going to, you know, be launched in the fall. Yeah, in the fall. And this, the Breville Burst Express has been around for a long time. I myself have had one, I believe, uh, eight years. Yeah. And it's still ticking away. So yeah. we love it. I have, I have an Express as well, and same. Love it. It's super reliable. Um, so yeah, the Smeg is like just like Wendy said. It's super comparable, both size, its functionality, what it can do, um, and the price point. They're both around the same price point, so you're going to be looking at around the $1,000 to $1,200 mark um, for the, these machines. Right. The um, Smeg, yes, it's not being launched. It's not been launched yet, um, and it's it is coming out in the fall. So if you're watching this video before this machine has become available, it will be coming out then and you'll be able to um, We think different then. colors? I think it's going to be in different colors. So just like the rest of the SMEG appliances, um, they are they come in a very a lot of different types of colors. I'm unsure which one specifically this one will be available mm -hmm. in. So we have it out in the black, which is of course very sharp. Um, and SMEG has a ton of different colors, so you can expect for, for that to be released. Mm -hmm. So let's go, I guess, through some of the similarities and then we'll touch on some of the differences because there are some really great differences um, that SMEG brought to the table yes. with this um, machine. machine. Yeah. Uh, so both machines have built-in grinders. Which is fantastic. Which is great, and they um, hold around the same amount. It's around the 200 gram to 250 gram mark. So you're holding just around half a pound of beans, which mm -hmm. is pretty standard for semi-automatic espresso machines. Grind size is similar. Yep, 16 on the Express, and I think it was 15. 15 on the Smeg. So you're you've got the same range there. Um, about a two liter water tank as well for both units, just located on the back. Both of them have articulated manual um, steam wands, right. and they both dispense hot water as well. So the Brista Express has a designated spout. On the Smeg, it comes out of the steam wand. So a little bit different there. Mm, so that would be a bigger difference for who? For Americano drinkers, right. yeah. So Which we both are. We both are, for sure. So, but we, you know, I think it comes out pretty fast, but it's not, you know, it's still a two-step yeah. even over here. Yep. So. Absolutely. So this is what we want to talk about. Yeah. This and the, 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 the thing that goes with it. So <laughs> the um, Smeg introduced theirs with a 58 millimeter portafilter as opposed to the 54 millimeter, which mm -hmm. is from Breville. Right. So some of the benefits to having a 58 will be um, better distribution of the grinds throughout the portafilter. So it's not going to be as deep it's going to be spread out more horizontally. So you're going to have, and you're supposed to have a more even extraction um, and be able to also have a little bit of a higher dose of the espresso grinds, which is really great. Uh, a 58 is what you will use on a more professional style machine as well. So it's really nice that they introduced that into their unit. Mm -hmm. um, the portafilter itself as well is really, like it's got a good weight to it which we always like. Yeah, we do like that a lot. The same with the tamper. Yeah. So, so that one tucks away. This one has a spot for it to sit up on top, but both of these are weighty compared. Yeah, so, woo. I know, yeah. it's it, a big it, difference. It really is a big difference. It's quite I, shocking because we're yeah. both used to grabbing that every morning. Absolutely. Then... Ask me how many times I've gone to grab the tamper off the smeg right here too, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so some really great upgrades in quality of portafilter and tamper, which are two really important things to, during your oh, espresso. Yeah. Right. And it also has a little rubber stopper. Yeah. <laughs> so you can, the Breville portafilter lays flat when you lay it down on your countertop. The Smeg one doesn't lay completely flat. However, if you were tamping, yeah. you have the rubber on the back so you can put it Hold on it. the corner of your countertop and it's not going to damage the countertop at all. And then press down. And then you yeah. can press down and it'll help to keep it level. I'm so used to doing it flat. I know, me yeah. too. Me too. Do you want to give it a try? Absolutely. Do we want to give them both a try? Yeah, mm -hmm. so let's uh, grind. Both of these machines are dialed See, in. I'm used to just so yeah. it's slipping it in a little so bit So on the Smeg, you have single shot dose, mm -hmm. double shot dose, single shot um, button, and double shot button. 
So on the Barista Express, it's we a button at the back. It's a button at the back of the porta holder in the grinder. So you tap and it's going to grind. So we're gonna make a uh, milk-based drink now. We're going to start by grinding on the smeg, and we're gonna pay attention as well to the sound of the grinder right. and the volume and how loud they are, because I think that the smeg may be a little bit quieter. So let's All test right. it and see. Double shot on both, right? of course. So I think that's about good there. Mm -hmm. So when you're changing your grind size, it's going to adjust. So I'm just gonna clean that off a little bit. It's a little bit messy. And then it automatically oh. stops, which is nice. Yeah, it's, yeah, I like that. It's so easy to put up. And then I'm gonna hit the double shot button. Want full double shot. Mm-hmm. I like how their products are a little branded. So on the front of oh, the yeah, little tamper, it says Smeg. Oh. Crema looks good. Too much crema? Hmm. Looks good though. The, the, the gauge. Colors, right? Yeah. The it gauge was nice. almost into the perfect range. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's, a click away from perfection. Absolutely. Yeah. And since we're doing milk, like I wouldn't worry about that. worry about it because it's going the milk's going to help to uh, reduce any like maybe sourness or acidity over. Do you want to acidity. do the milk portion on both since you're the latte oh, art queen? Sure, why not? So the smeg has two steam settings. You have um, little power steam, high power steam, pretty much. <laughs> um, so we're going to go to the most powerful, but it's really great because it'll help you when you're learning and all of that fun stuff. All right, ready? The last time I used it, I went right for full power. Yeah, yeah, it's it's powerful, but it's... Found it really easy to do a nice fluffy foam. I just haven't had much practice with latte art, so I'm mostly drinking Americano. Yeah. So this mag has a dual thermal block heater, so that means you can't brew and steam at the same time, but it will switch over to the it's steam heat fast. very fast. What, 15, 20 seconds-ish? Less. Less than that? Yeah. This should be almost instantaneous. Because I know with my Breville, it was about 25. Yes. Yeah, so the Breville has a, also has a thermoblock heater. It's a thermocoil heater. Mm -hmm. And it does take, yeah, around the 30 second, 25 to 30 second mark to heat up for your, um, your milk from your coffee. That feels about good. All right. Turn that off. There we go. Okay. See the magic. So yeah, that milk looks really, really good. You can mm. see that. Pretty impressive. <laughs> I don't mean to toot my own horn. <laughs> but the steam wand is really nice. So I was pretty uh, pretty impressed with it the first time I used it. Just a little For me. baby heart. That's Just a right. teeny little one. <laughs> so yeah, flat white, um, smooth steam. The milk heated up um, fast. fast and the steam wand was uh, the pressure was really nice as well. I like that you have the two mm. options. That's really good. Yeah, yeah, and using a, a um, using the lower power on the smeg as well is good if you're doing like a cortado, something that's a little bit lower in heat, or you're steaming a smaller amount because it won't over it won't overpower it. It won't heat up too fast. You'll be able to keep up with the with the heating. That's yeah, good information. Yeah. Really, really great. All right, so now we'll go over to the Revel and we'll make the uh, same or similar beverage. Will you do I the honors? I can press it. You can. <laughs> there we go. So the smeg was was a little bit quieter, I think. Yeah. Yeah, just a little, a little bit, bit though. Quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Both of them are going to be noisy because it's. So I'm amazed how much I don't hear it 
when um, somebody else is making it in the house anymore, if I'm upstairs I, I sleeping, totally you, tune you, it tune out. It. You, you do tune it out after a while. You get so used to the noise that, um, yeah, you just don't even hear it. Same with the smell, actually. I can't smell the, the freshly roasted or freshly ground coffee as much as I used to be able to since we're, we're in it so much. Okay. So we have the black mat added to this. Yes. Yeah, that's just an extra an accessor yeah. accessory, yeah. We do sell quite a few accessories here at ECS Coffee for the Breville. Yeah, we do. There's yeah. tons of them, por bottomless porta filters, uh, tamping mats, wheels, bunch of really fun stuff to make your Ooh. espresso brewing a little WDT bit nicer. WDT tools. WDT tools. Distributor tampers. Yeah, <laughs> lots of lots of fun stuff. Yeah, and those guys are nice because they're weighted. Mm -hmm. So double shot, double button. There we go. A little bit under as well mm -hmm. so we're both having the about the same yeah but the shot looks good it does yeah. both of the shots looked good and they both like the so crema is really rich 30 seconds and make sure it's about a couple of ounces for the double shot yeah yeah and you know it's also good to not get too hung up on all of the numbers being super exact and precise because mm -hmm. then you're going to spend your entire morning dialing in your espresso instead of enjoying it. it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if your espresso shot, if if you look at it and you go, no, no that's not good. But this smells nice. Yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do some steaming for this one as well. So on the Breville, unlike the Smeg, um, it is going to take a little bit to heat up. So we're, first we're going to just turn the steam wand on and let it heat up. And then when I put my jug in, it'll be ready yeah, for me to go. Yeah, it spits out a little bit of water and then it moves on to the steam, I noticed that. Exactly. Yeah, so I guess we'll have to soak this one because it's it baked, baked on. Milk. on. Oh yeah. yeah, pretty quick. It's the sugars in the milk, it right? It is, yeah. <laughs> so it's not an insulated wand then. So with the Breville, I just turned it off since it does take a little bit to heat up and I'm just gonna turn the wand back on and we'll be ready to go. So just one uh, one power for this one. Yeah, just the one. Um, Breville does have machines that have more powerful steaming wands. However, I find that this steam wand is good. Like I, I don't have any complaints about it. They both also have just one hole for steaming too. Okay. As opposed to maybe having three or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So I wonder if that one's gonna take a little bit longer than this one to heat up? Yeah, it might. Um, that one did go pretty, pretty fast. Yeah, it did. yeah. yeah. This one is, is almost there. It's starting to really heat now. Something that we haven't timed, but it's just noticing from both of us having this machine. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, both of us don't use our milk. <laughs> All right, that's good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So yeah, neither wand is insulated, so you'll have the rubber piece here on both machines to use. To so you don't burn. To, yeah. So you don't burn your fingers off. Exactly. That milk is good. The milk on the Smeg was better, um, smoother, more consistent of a microfoam. This one has more tiny bubbles in it than the Smeg one did. You're not gonna give me a lovely heart. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. It's a little wiggly. That's okay though. Um, yeah, I mean, very, very comparable, for sure. It smells really good. Yeah. All right, yeah. should I taste it? Yeah, take a bit. Give it a little, <clears throat> a little taste. Yeah. yeah, when it all comes together, it's, it's all, delicious. It's milk, <laughs> it's hot milk and it, espresso. It, yeah, it's lovely. I would definitely say though, with this, um, if your end goal is like something like latte art and you're looking between the two, the smeg would get you there faster. The Smeg Steam Wand is, the power behind it is more similar to the Barista Pro. 
Um, and in terms of the distribution? Yeah. You think with, that's a little bit better tasting or is? Mm, I mean, from, from my own experience, I can get really good shots off of a 54 millimeter. Yeah. And I can get a good, really good shots off of a 58. It all depends on your skill level as well. I, I don't think that it would be, it's not a make or break for me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I've always had the 54 home and I've always loved my coffee from home. Exactly. So. You're not going to be disappointed with a 54 millimeter portafilter. If you are after the 58 and you want something that has a built-in grinder, then the Smeg is a really good option. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that we don't have a machine that is a semi-auto no. like this that has the built-in grinder and has a 58 millimeter portafilter. So it's nice to combine those two aspects of it. I like the Smeg Simple design and the Breville has a very similar design. Both yeah. of them are very easy to use. Um, Built-in grinders, they have, they'll require the same cleaning functions. They have the same size water tanks. The Smeg is a tiny bit taller, so just something to keep in mind when you're looking. You to measure your counter first. Yes, exactly <laughs> right, yes, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, the Smeg, they both have a really nice retro look. The Smeg will have the colors available, which is fantastic, you know, Spruce Up Your Kitchen. Um, and the Breville is tried and true. We've, we've, we have know it. We know it, we've, we've had it for a long time, um, available as a demo. And then we also both personally have the machine at home, so we're very familiar with it. We both love it, so. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I do like the Smeg though. Um, I think that it offers some stuff where it's kind of filling in some gaps with the 58 and the nice the nice tamper, which is really, really fantastic. You have to Again, pay extra for it, yeah. Yeah, and then it's, the port of those filter. are things that aren't going to necessarily, those by themselves won't make your espresso better. No. But it'll improve your experience and it, it's little extra add-ons that you don't have to purchase e afterwards, which is, is always nice. So same amount of warranty too, one year warranty through manufacturer. Um, and other than that, they're pretty, pretty, pretty similar units, which is great. So yeah. your own barista at home, just a little bit work dialing it in and no, frothing your milk, and then you'll be good to go. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And awesome. both the machines, they're, they're since they have the grinders on board, it's it's easier to dial them in. And once you get it dialed in, as long as you stick with your same bean, then you're going to be back to back, back, back to back to back. You're good. Yeah, you're all good. Uh, yeah. So really great. Yeah. Both great machines. Like both machines. Uh, yeah. Don't necessarily have a favorite. So. No. Thanks for joining us today. If you liked our video, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with us and give us a thumbs up. Follow us on all of our social media channels just right here and uh, check out our blog that you can access on our website. We have some awesome coffee knowledge content on there for you to read through, learn about and all of that fun stuff. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.